Hello, and this is Off Track. In this Off Track video, we'll look at Christian Brothers California Cream Sherry. And I call it Off Track because what I normally do, if you, as you notice my channel, is beer reviews. So I get off track sometimes and do, over the last almost about five years, uh, fortified wines and dessert wines. Sherry's, and uh, I believe I've done some port and Marsala, stuff like that. Okay, so I uh, was trying to find out about Christian Brothers. I haven't had any of their wines except for their uh, their dry sherry, and this is the second one I've had from them. Never had anything from them before. It's a, it's a the Christian Brothers are a Catholic educational order. They were, they were established by Jean Baptiste de La Salle in France, in like 1725. It was ordained by the church. You know, they approved their order, and they wanted to set up schools all around the world. And they own they run two schools in New Orleans: a Christian Brothers Elementary School, and uh, De La Salle High School. They established uh, a vineyard in California in 1882, Parlier, California, to raise money for the order. In 1989, they did sell the winery. From what I, the research I could find, to uh, they, they sold the winery to some uh, a company, and then they got you know bought out, and then they got bought out, and then the brand, the Christian Brother Assets Brothers Assets, were sold off to a company today. That's today owning it and it's called Heaven Hill sorry for that kind of garbled sentence there Heaven Hill Distilleries a family owned they say America's largest family owned distillery and they control the Christian Brothers wine the winery itself and the Christian Brothers brandy a famous apparently line of brandies which I've not sampled and they say on the Heaven Hill website that all the Christian Brothers Sherry's are aged in oak barrels. It says right here that is that that's the case. Okay, uh, popular alternative to aperitifs and after dinner wines, full bodied caramelized character. Cream sherry makes a wonderful complement to chocolate and sweet desserts, or it can be enjoyed as a smooth, mellow sipping wine throughout the evening. I'm not gonna sip on this throughout the evening. I mean, you know, it's tempting. But I need, I was going to drink some hot tea later. I hadn't done that all day. On the rocks or straight up? I'm going to go straight up. 18% alcohol. All right, so um, I noticed they have an apple brandy. Um, but I would like to try the regular. And so these are real cork there. Cork stopper. Which is nice. Uh, we get a lot of different sherries around here. There's some, like, more expensive ones from England and I was at Martha Wine Cellar and the one from England that I, I noticed that Mathern is like $17 a bottle and the ones I was looking at from Spain at, um, at Martha Wine Cellar were like some of them were like $38, $45 a bottle so it'd be interesting one day to try those really high quality sherries. This one was an unusually low price at uh, Rouse's for whatever reason. Okay, don't turn. Uh, I'm trying to keep the bottle from falling over. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like a cream sherry, Fairbanks, Taylor, you know, those other brands. Uh, kind of a light copper color. There's almost even. I guess that's the sun behind those trees in the clouds. Almost like I was going to say, like a rosé appearance. This little crystal, crystal sherry glass. I have a little set to canter into two crystal glass. Yeah, I mean, it smells just like the Taylor or the uh, Fairbanks, really. I think they're so similar. Well, I haven't tasted it yet, but those two are so similar, you just in shop price. So let's see about this. Oh, yeah, what does it smell like? It's nutty a little bit. It's a um, little bit of a candy or caramel, toffee type thing. Wine. <laughs> Makes sense, right? It smells like wine. Uh, they say sherry uses only white grapes and that they'll fortify it sometimes with brandy, which is a hard liquor made from grapes. Yeah, it tastes sub-nutty. Get the white grapes. Um, 
little booziness there. Maybe like it's kind of a little toffee candy type thing, maybe. And those cream cherries have this kind of distinctive, and it's hard to describe. It's like a cream, right? Like cream. It's hard to, it doesn't make sense, but it, it's there. So, yeah, if you want a little sipping wine, a sweet sipping wine, and you've not tried sherry, this would be a good one to check out. Uh, been around since 1882, so something's going right. Uh, I'll be glad to drink through the bottle, so thank you for watching this off-track video production.